Honorable Speaker, I present the budget for 2023-24. This is the first budget in Amrit Kal. This budget hopes to build on the foundation laid in the previous budget and the blueprint drawn for India at the rate of 100. We envision a prosperous and inclusive India in which the fruits of development reach all regions and citizens, especially our youth, women, farmers, OBCs, scheduled castes and scheduled tribes. In the 75th year of our independence, the world has recognized the Indian economy as a bright star. Our current year's economic growth is estimated to be at 7%. It is notable that this is the highest among all the major economies. This is in spite of the massive slowdown globally caused by COVID-19 and a war. The Indian economy is therefore on the right track and despite a time of challenges heading towards a bright future. Today, as Indians stand with their head held high and the world appreciates India's achievements and successes, we are sure that elders who had fought for India's independence will with joy bless us our endeavors going forward. Our focus on wide-ranging reforms and sound policies implemented through Sabka Prayas, resulting in Jan Bhagidari and targeted support to those in need, helped us perform well in trying times. India's rising global profile is because of several accomplishments, unique world-class digital public infrastructure, for example, Aadhaar Covin, and UPI COVID vaccination drive in unparalleled scale and speed, proactive role in frontier areas such as achieving the climate related goals, mission life and national hydrogen mission. During the COVID-19 pandemic, we ensured that no one goes to bed hungry with a scheme to supply free food grains to over 80 crore persons for 28 months. Continuing our commitment to ensure food and nutritional security, we are implementing from 1st January 2023 a scheme to supply free food grain to all Antodaya and priority households for the next one year under PM Garib Kalyan Anna Yojana. The entire expenditure of about rupees 2 lakh crore will be borne by the central government. In these times of global challenges, the G20 presidency gives us a unique opportunity to strengthen India's role in the world economic order. With the theme of Vasudhyam, Kutumbakam, we are steering an ambitious people-centric agenda to address global challenges. The government's efforts since 2014 have ensured for all citizens a better quality of life and a life of dignity. The per capita income has more than doubled to Rs 1.97 lakh. In these nine years, the Indian economy has increased in size from being 10th to 5th largest in the world. We have significantly improved our position as a well-governed and innovative country with a conducive environment for business as reflected in several global indices. We have made significant progress in many sustainable development goals. The economy has become a lot more formalized as reflected 
in the EPFO membership more than doubling to 27 crore and 7400 crore digital payments of rupees 126 lakh crore through UPI in 2022. The efficient implementation of many schemes with universalization of targeted benefits has resulted in inclusive development. Our vision for the Amrit Kal includes technology-driven and knowledge-based economy with strong public finances and a robust financial sector. To achieve this, Jan Bhagidari through Sabka Saath, Sabka Prayas is essential. The economic agenda for achieving this vision focuses on three things. First, facilitating ample opportunities for citizens, especially the youth, to fulfill their aspirations. Second, providing strong impetus to growth and job creation. And third, strengthening macroeconomic stability. To service these focus areas in our journey to India at the rate 100, we believe that the following four opportunities can be transformative during Amrit Kal. One, economic empowerment of women, Deen Deyal Antodaya Yojana National Rural Livelihood Mission has achieved remarkable success by mobilizing rural women into 81 lakh self-help groups. We will enable these groups to reach the next stage of economic empowerment through formation of large producer enterprises or collectives with each having several thousand members and managed professionally. They will be helped with supply of raw materials and for better design, quality, branding and marketing of their products. Through supporting policies, they will be enabled to scale up their operations to serve the large consumer markets, as has been the case with several startups growing into unicorns. Two, PM Vishwakarma Kaushal for centuries, traditional artisans and craftspeople who work with their hands using tools have brought pride for India. They are generally referred to as Vishwakarma. The art and handicraft created by them represents the true spirit of Atmanirbhar Bharat. For the first time, a package of assistance for them has been conceptualized. The new scheme will enable them to improve the quality, scale and reach of their products, integrating them with the MSME value chain for the growth of their potential. Stop.